Today we are on the Lake Granberry. We are gonna go check out Water's Edge. It's a hot day out here, but we're gonna go see what we can see. Uh, there's a piece of property I have a buyer that's interested in, and so he's asking to go check it out. So that's what we're gonna do. This right here is Water's Edge. So Water's Edge is gonna be a little bit older of a community and it is located kind of behind Walmart. It's a completely different experience when you're looking at property from the water instead of from the street. But this is the back of the houses and uh, most of these houses are gonna be on Pebble Drive or Harborside Drive or Teal Place, even River Road. There is the, the entrance to one of the canals. This particular home that we're gonna go look at, we're not going in it, we're just gonna go check it out from outside. But just giving you an idea of what it looks like out here on Lake Granberry, the wind's blowing pretty high. Right now we're in 33 feet of water. I don't know if you see these orange buoys, but the orange buoys, someone is tied off onto probably a tree or a stump of some sort. In Granberry, you know, if you watched any of my videos, Granberry is just a dammed up Brazos River man-made and uh, the water starts at Possum Kingdom. It travels down the Brazos River and then Lake Granberry is the dammed up Brazos River. Our, our dam is over around Pecan Plantation. So what we're looking at right now is all of these hubs. Well, we're looking at a guy right now that's fishy. Man, that's awesome. But you wanna stay on the river channel. So the river channel is not necessarily in the middle of the river, but you'll see the river channel is where you see these buoys and there's a channel marker on them and so you always want to stay there because it's very deceptive about how deep the water is around here i think this is the channel that we're going to go through here but we're going to try to go in there and not cross over a bunch of trees so water's edge the houses that are on the canal are going to be on water's edge drive canvas bank mallard way mallard port even cliff swallow line these homes have been built. They started building in this community in 1986 and completed building around the year 2000. Of course, there was, you know, just a handful of homes, maybe one built in 05, one built in 06, and one built in 07. But the average home in this community was built in 1995. So we're fixing to go in here. What's our depth? 22. Now we're down to 22. 22 feet and we're just entering into the community. See those orange buoys, they're all tied off on something. There's a tree over there that you just see sticking out of the water. There's a bird, a crane over there standing on a stub. You've really got to know this lake to be able to know where you can and can't go. Obviously, when you go into the canal, it's going to be a lot less deep. Uh, but the homes out here, the average home is built in 1995, a square foot property out here ranges anywhere from 1,700 square feet to 4,000 square feet. There's really only about 10 streets out here. It's not a gigantic neighborhood, doesn't have a lot of turnover. Boy, these properties have held their value though, that's for sure. So average home square footage based on solds over the lifetime of the neighborhood is 2,680. Uh, we're going to go look at a house that is on Water's Edge, built in 1987, 2,300 square feet. And so we're going deep into the canal and it's 11 feet right now. There's all kinds of boats on Lake Granberry, pontoon boats, cruisers, wakeboard boats, uh, you know, got all kinds of jet skis. It's a very active lake. Today's Wednesday. So we tried to come out of here when there wasn't 1 million people. We're going to be greeted by this happy dog though. Look at him. Oh, I hope he jumps in the water. Hi, oh, sweet he baby. To, he wants to get in the boat. Hi, honey. Look at him, he's a guard dog. Sweet baby, hi. So a uh, fun fact, there is one private boat ramp out here in the uh, Water's Edge subdivision and there's approximately 123 dock structures out here. So not every single person has a dock, but I'm seeing a lot of them right now. And that happy dog, depth, nine feet deep. So uh, I checked the BRA website today and we are at 96% deep today. So this is what 96% deep looks like when uh, we've had a lot of rain in other areas. The water is released from Possum Kingdom, travels down the Brazos River, fills up Granberry, and then they open up our floodgates so they can let the water travel down to Lake Whitney, which is uh, very, very low right now. 
Um, we are considered in the upper basin of the Brazos River. There's an upper, a middle, and a lower. People just sitting out here on their docks, having a good old time. Okay, we are turned around and uh, we're gonna pass the house. It's up here on the right-hand side. It is 1987 built, 2,300 square feet. It's listed at $750,000 and it's probably beautiful inside. I wanted you to get an idea of what it looks like right back here in the Water's Edge subdivision on Lake Granberry. And we're deep in the canal and uh, we're at 10 feet. If you wanna work with the real waterfront expert, I am the broker you need to talk to when experience matters. Subscribe to the playlist that has all of the waterfront properties that we tour from the boat and make it a great day.